In this video we take a look at the British Moth Stitch, also known as the American Seed Stitch. Stay with me and I'll show you how. Known as the Moth Stitch in the UK and as the Seed Stitch in the US, this pattern has lots of little raised bumps made by alternating knit stitches and purl stitches. It has the same pattern front and back. So let's get started. Because this stitch looks the same on the front and the back, it might help to mark one of your needles to help keep track of your stitches. I've just tied a scrap piece of yarn around one needle. I normally place my marker on the needle on which I've cast on, so my first row and all odd rows will have the marker, and my second row and all even rows will be the plain needle. Now this can be done differently depending on whether you have an odd or even number of stitches. First I will demonstrate with the even number of stitches. I've cast on with 10. And we knit our first stitch. And we bring our yarn to the front of our work. And purl our second stitch. Then we bring our yarn to the back to knit, bring our yarn to the front to purl. And we carry on along the row, knitting one and purling one until we reach the end. Row two starts differently, so for row two we purl one, move our yarn to the back, Knit one, move our yarn to the front to purl one, move our yarn to the back to knit, and we carry on along the row, purling one, knitting one, until we reach the end. And now we're on row three, we repeat from row one, where we knit one, and purl one across the row. And we come to row 4, where we repeat row 2, where we purl 1, and knit 1, across the row. And that's it. Just carry on repeating those two rows. Every odd row, we knit 1, purl 1, knit 1, purl 1, across the row. And every even row, we purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, across the row, and carry on until you reach your desired length. We do this a little differently if we're working with an odd number of stitches. I've cast on 11. The first row is just the same. We knit one, purl one, all the way across. And we should end on a knit stitch. And row two is just the same. We knit one, purl one, all the way across. So with the odd number of stitches, we always start and end our rows on a knit stitch. So we don't have to worry about marking one of our needles and keeping track of the stitches since every row is the same. Carry on knitting one and purling one until you reach your desired length. And that's how to do the moss stitch also known as the seed stitch.